Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Friday. It's here. It's here. If you're working, you've only got a few more hours left. If you're already done for the weekend, kind of like me, let's enjoy it, guys. Um, we're talking a little, around, a little bit around defenders uh, in this video today. Uh, we're talking a little bit about, obviously, Mickey van der Ven. It's this close. It's this close. Uh, we're talking a little bit around about uh, Edmund Tapsola. Not as good news, though, on, on that front. Um, I will hopefully try and get another video out later around a striker situation. Obviously, we'll talk, we talked to Alejo. Uh, we're also going to talk about a gift as well. So, talking a little bit about those two. And obviously, you never know what comes up with Spurs rumours. Something might come in at sort of the back end of the day. So, let's jump straight in with the news from David Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano. I know a lot of you are quite sceptical. You're very cynical. I understand it. Spurs has done that to you. But if any two people were going to combine on news, this would be these two, okay? So let's start with Fabrizio Romano, what he said. He said that Tottenham are just waiting for the final green light from Wolfsburg. Then Mickey van der Ven deal will be done. Talks are very advanced, as revealed in the last 48 hours. Fee close to 50 million euros, add-ons included. Medical in the coming days for both Mickey van der Ven and Alejo Veliz. So really good news there. This is just a matter of time. It's not... Will it happen? It is happening. It's a matter of time. And I expect sometime over the weekend, maybe into Monday, he will be announced. Um, and obviously, he'll be in the squad ready to play for uh, the first home, uh, first game of the season against Brentford. So that was what um, Fabrizio said. We're going to talk a little bit about what uh, David Ornstein also said. He said that Tottenham on the verge of agreement with Wolfsburg sign Mickey Van Aven. Fee approaching 50 million euros included add-ons. Once still finalised, the 22-year-old left centre-back will fly to the UK, do medical and complete move on a long-term contract. So, happy days. This thing's happening. I would consider that pretty much a here we go. Basically, Wolfsburg just got a ticket. So, I'm going to say that it is done. But if I'm wrong, shoot me. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. I deserve to, you know, to be shot there. But I'm going to back the two biggest names in football reporting and say that it's done, okay? Like I said, if any two people were to say it, it'll be these two guys. So happy days, we have the centre-back that we've all been yearning for. Um, it may not be exactly what people's first options may be, but you know what? Would you that, or would you an Eric Dyer, a Jaffet Tanganga, a Joe Roden, a Clement Longley? My silence says it all. So happy days on that front. Let's talk a little bit around the Edmund Tapsoba situation because I don't think we let's not dwell on Mickey Van Aven. We know that's happening. We're just going to wait for that beautiful shirt hold. That's all we're going to wait for. All right. But let's talk a little bit around the Edmund Tapsoba. So we talked in other videos how Spurs were interested in two senior centre backs. Obviously, we know about the Ashley Phillips situation with Blackburn, but he's an 18 year old. He wasn't, he's not deemed a senior centre back. Obviously, Friday being today, the release course becomes active. They accept, they have to accept in theory that two million pound, uh, well, in theory, offer from Spurs. So hopefully we get some news over the next sort of day or two that medicals, things like that are happening. Um, I wouldn't mind him going back on loan, to be fair, to, to Blackburn, get some more experience. I think it's important that we, if we do send people out on loan, it's to things like the cha like, like leagues like Championship and League One, where you do get roughened up a little bit. You do. You do learn physicality of the English football game. You know, if you send them to La Liga, they, they're going to learn how to play football probably a little bit better, but they're not going to be ready for the rough and tumble of the Premier League. Uh, hence why you see quite a few sort of Serie A, La Liga teams, the Bundesliga teams kind of get a bit bullied by the Premier League teams because they're a lot more physical. So I, I, I've always been hopeful that we send sort of players out like like Phillips or D Alfie Devine, you know, even players like Pape Matassar or Oli Skip. I'm Oli Skip's had it with Nor Norwich and... No, he had a very good season in the championship for them. Um, but, you know, our youth players, I'd love for them to be sent out on loan to really develop within the English football pyramid. But let's talk Edmund Taps over anyway. So this came out from Dan Kilpatrick and he said that Tottenham have now cooled their interest in Edmund Taps over. Spurs remain some way from Bayer Leverkusen's asking price and are now pursuing other targets. It's a shame. Is the deal dead? You can't sit there and say it is, but it is a shame that we, we're sitting in a position where we, we, in theory, are one of our main chance of targets we're not going to be going after as of right now. Now, don't get me wrong, Leverkusen may change their mind and lower their asking price because they feel like they've 
they've got a few options that they want to get into both of their squads. Spurs may end up having to be a little bit more desperate and going, look, well, well, let, let's get a bit closer and maybe negotiate it or even meet their target. But let's be honest, I don't think I don't think this will surprise a lot of fans and I, I wouldn't blame them. Mickey Van Aven and Tapsoba were the two main options. Everyone else was third, fourth and beyond. Um, I'm just glad we got at least one. I feel a little bit more confident going into the opening game of the season where Brentford are a very good attacking, quick team. We need pace at the back. And if you've got Desi Adogi, got Mickey Van Aven, which we've all seen the the the, the videos of Mickey Van Aven and how athletic he is. You know, Romero, who's got a bit about him. Poro's got a bit about him. Emerson's, yes, maybe a better defender, but athletically wise, Poro's obviously got the speed. It's a very quick back line. And that's always quite exciting. So I'm in a better frame of mind going into, obviously, the first game of the season against Brentford. And obviously, then you've got Man United coming to, to Spurs the weekend after. They've obviously got quite attacking quick players with, you know, your Rashfords, your Anthony's. The Hoyland will be something a little bit similar as well. So happy days, we've got something in there that at least we can all get behind and kind of look at the centre-back position and go, well, we've got someone now. I'm not going to crucify him if he doesn't have the best game against Brentford because it's his first game in the Premier League. He's not really had much of a pre-season with Spurs. I would say from September onwards, you'd want to start to see the player that he can be. And look, we spent big money on him, but that's the way the market is now. Don't try and look at the, the 50 million euro deal. And I, I've, I've been a prisoner of this through its own deal. And looking at it and going, that's too much money. A few years ago, he was probably worth about £20 million. Unfortunately, the market's just been nuked. And it's just very expensive to get peer players in now. So there you are. But guys, that's the end of the video. Um, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. I'll try and have another one out a little bit later on. Um, I'm going out for a few drinks. So hopefully I'll be back in time to do it. Um, hit me in the comment section. Mickey van der Ven, happy that he's going to be here. Happy that he's going to be here first game of the season. And would he start for you on the first game of the season? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Very much, like I said, on the road to a 1,000. It has really kind of snowballed recently. So that's always a good sign that you're all enjoying the videos. And obviously, hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.